And before we go on vacation, we want to make sure our garden is in order. I know. So our foodie gardener, Shirley Bobshaw, is here. She's going to show us how to grow summer squash. And some are here and some are there. But our summer squash is in our garden right now. Well, actually, we have a whole bunch in front of us. And you say there are a different variety of squashes, right? Oh, there are so many. The interesting thing about summer squash, it grows at the same time that winter squash, winter squash, squash. grows. <laughs> but the difference is, like, for instance, in a zucchini like this, you harvest this when it's nice and soft so you can actually eat it raw. You could never do that with a winter squash because it's too hard. Right. And the other thing, these are very perishable. When they're growing in your garden, you want to take them and eat them within seven days. Winter squash, you can't. You, you can keep them for months and months. Well, I love these when they grow up. They, there's like the zucchini who ate Cleveland. You oh, know, you, oh, you always find that's one of those right. in your back in your garden. You that's know? right. They yeah. have giant one. But yeah. these are some of the most popular zucchini. I shouldn't say zucchini. A lot of people say call all of the zucchini. Squash. Summer squash that you can find year round at the supermarket. So what are the varieties? Okay. This is really important nowadays, an organic zucchini. Right. And the reason being is because the skin of the zucchini is so soft that chemicals and pesticides really can penetrate the, the, uh, the fruit. And it is a fruit, by the way. It is a oh, fruit. It is a fruit, yes, oh. because the seeds are inside. So this oh. is one of the most popular. Then the this one, tamoti. This is the Latin American. Uh, type of uh, zucchini. Is this a fruit as well? Because the zucchini. It's a, they're the all inside? fruit. But wow. this one is really cool because some people say, oh, that's a little too zucchini ish, earthy tasting. This is really mild, Milder. soft, buttery, and delicious. Okay. And then how about these little ones? Have you ever. Cooked? Yes, I use those all the time when I make a pasta primavera and soup and minestrone. Isn't that gorgeous? Baby there's summer. A, there's a name for that though. Yeah, what? the baby summer or the scallop, okay, scallopini. Scallop. And these are absolutely delicious. Now, you said that you know what this is. Well, these are the little baby zucchini. With but the squash With the blossom. squash blossom. And what I like to do is I open them up. Right. With this intact, I stuff it with some Italian sausage, some ricotta, yes. uh, beaten egg, and some Parmesan cheese. Close it up. And then you're going to saute it in the with some olive oil mm, and garlic. Me hungry. And then you squeeze lemon on it and eat it. It's so good. Are you hungry? Good. So, yeah, so it's, it's an so edible good. flower it's that an comes from. Flower. So, okay. And, and then we'll the last one. If you don't like the mushiness, of zucchini, you might like chayote because this is nice and crisp like an apple and it's like a cucumber taste. What do Delicious. you put that in? Oh, soup, stews, whatever. But um, What do you have planned for, the, the, okay. for our garden for while you, we're on vacation? For, for you, but I oh, say for Christina, vacation, we yeah. have three gourmet varieties that we have planned. I have pictures of them here because okay. you can only grow them by seed. This is called cupcake. And it's a small little two to five inch uh, cupcake uh, shaped zucchini, and it's absolutely delicious. And then we have also, let's see, green oh, zebra. Are, yeah. Gorgeous striped oh. eight inch zucchini, waxy, soft uh, skin, absolutely delicious. And the next one, oh, the golden egg. This is an award winning, not only does it taste good, uh, I mean, look good, but it tastes good. It's an award winning taste. But you know what? I want to show you how to plant these by seed. And at home, you may only be able to plant gourmet uh, type zucchini if you have seeds. So if I can get back here safely, I want to show you something really important. Okay. We have very fertile soil. This is extremely soft. It has a lot of compost. The most important thing is you want to make sure that you uh, space out your seed appropriately because these are going to become big plants. So you take two seeds, you make a hole only about an inch deep. I'm going to go ahead and drop the two and then you just lightly cover it. Then you're going to measure 36 inches away, do the same thing. And then once you cover it, you're going to water it lightly. And check this out. In about five to six days, you're gonna get a little plant like the one right here in front of us. And you can see that two of them grew there. And you can always have the option of picking out the strongest one to leave and taking out the ones that's weaker. So that's why you plant two at a time because they might not germinate. And they grow all over the place. So you end up with these beautiful zucchini. We want to learn, if you want to learn more how to grow food with style, you can visit Shirley's blog at foodiegardener.com. Thank you so much. You and thank it. you to Melissa's for the fresh squash and burpee from our garden seeds.